Hey, what's up soldiers? My name is Craig FPS, the Zombies Extraordinaire, and today what I have for you guys is a tutorial on how to get the Sword of Barbarossa on the survival map Altar of Blood in World War II DLC 3. So after you complete the full tortured path Easter egg, you unlock all three maps as survival maps. So this is the survival map of chapter three beneath the ice. So in order to get the sword, it's pretty simple, but you do need a pretty good amount of points. You're gonna need 12,250 points. Now, I actually found out that the sword is actually really good, and you guys will see some gameplay of that soon. But what you have to do is go up to all four of these different plates, and you have to drop 1,750 points. So if you didn't know, if you press left on your D-pad, you drop 250 points. So once you drop 1,750, you're going to get kind of like a weird activation noise. It's kind of like a ring, and you'll also see like some electricity going as you can see right here i'm going to drop it seven times and boom so 1750 at each of the four different pads it's pretty self-explanatory uh but you do need a pretty good amount of points now i do want to give a big thank you to my friend bbat who actually showed me how to do this because i had no idea so if you want to check out his channel it'll be linked down below so as you can see here we're going to the last pad and we're going to drop 1750 just make sure you're a little bit away from when you're dropping the points because as you guys are going to see here we have to drop them at all three of the bowls but i was dropping points and then picking it up so it obviously didn't count so when you're in the middle just make sure you're like actually in the pool of blood so as you can see here we dropped and you get like the exact same audio cue as well so you have to drop 1750 at all three of these as well um it's pretty self-explanatory it's really easy like i didn't expect it to be this easy just dropping points so once you do that you'll see a white ring that is around the middle area with blood what you actually have to do is go down so you have to have a zombie hit you so there's no point of getting shields or anything before this like as you can see i had one shield left and I'm just gonna go down and yeah, I didn't actually go down, I just got the sword. So the sword ends up replacing your shovel in your inventory as the melee weapon. And it actually turns out that the sword is much better than I thought it was. Uh, there's a special attack that you can do where you swing the sword at one zombie just by pressing like the left trigger. And then if you press your melee button, um, after that, like, for example, if you're playing on tactical, you just press circle, it will actually shoot a charge out at all the zombies. And if they were, if there's one zombie that is already red, it's going to end up killing like all of them. So I didn't actually know how to do this at first, but once I figured this out, it can literally destroy hordes of zombies, which is really good. Now, the only thing that really sucks about the sword is you don't get any points for killing zombies with it. As you can see, that was like a lot of them that were getting affected by it. I, I'm, I was still learning at this point, like how to do it, but um, it's really cool. Like see right there, I just destroyed like an entire horde of zombies. So it's definitely really cool. Now, once what I was trying to say was you don't get any points and you actually don't get any XP as well for killing zombies with the sword. So that's the only downside to it. Um, I kind of wish you got XP for killing zombies because otherwise, I mean, it would be really easy to go for high rounds because Bbat was telling me that chances are it's like unlimited uh, damage so you can kill zombies for an unlimited amount of time as you can see right there I just killed another entire horde so it definitely is really cool let me know what you guys think of the sword down below in the comment section is this something you guys are going to do or have you not unlocked the tortured path yet completely to play on all of the survival maps now i did hear that they were going to be released really soon for everyone so i'm not 100 percent sure when that is going to be but hopefully it will be sometime this week the maps have been out for six days so i wanted to get this video out for you guys in case you were at this point and you didn't know how to actually unlock the sword but anyways guys Thank you for watching. My name is Greg FPS, the Zombies Extraordinaire. Once again, go check out Bbat. His link will be down in the description. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.